Good morning guys, you join me again at Watergate Farm. Um, I did get down just as it was getting dark last night. I sat up in a swim over the other side and done a night in there. I wasn't expecting much setting up and uh, casting out in the dark. When I turned up, the guy that was in the swim I was in in the last session where I had all the fish uh, told me he was leaving at 8 o'clock in the morning. So I thought I'd do the night over the other side. <clears throat> I didn't have anything, not a bleep. It does surprise me, I sort of sat up in the dark, cast out in the dark, you know, there was a chance but it didn't happen. Uh, the guy that was in the swim I was in last time, the swim I'm in now, uh, he didn't actually have anything, he had a few knocks and bleeps, he thinks there's some fish in the area. So um, I've got round, like a rat down a drain pipe. It could be that, you know, I'm, I may not repeat what happened last time, I very much doubt I will to be honest. That was a session and a half, but I'd like to sneak a, a fish out this weekend if I can. So I've done last night, I've got tonight to do, and I'll leave sometime tomorrow afternoon. Got a bit of time left. I've already been round and put some bait round on the spot, some uh, crushed boilie out, just a few little scoops, a couple of scoops on each, each spot. The weather's not looking too great for this weekend. It stayed relatively dry last night. I did hear a little bit of a shower in the night. Uh, today it's going to be very strong winds, 40, 50 mile an hour winds and uh, probably some rain later as well so uh, not ideal conditions for sitting out in but hopefully good conditions for catching a few fish anyway just going to put on a little mesh bag and uh, flick it out there so let's get fishing i've had my rods out for about um, three quarters of an hour over on this swim and i've had a few knocks or well, a couple of knocks on the right hand rod but it's gone up and down a little bit um, a bit like what happened last session when I was sort of getting the knocks and end up, ended up recasting. Now I'm not recasting straight away here, I'm going to give it a little bit longer but if I keep getting those little knocks I'm going to wind it in and have it rechuck. Um, the forecast is strong winds today, 40 to 50 mile an hour winds are forecast and some heavy showers as well. I don't think it's going to be anything like the conditions of last session so uh, I'm hoping not anyway, that was pretty horrendous. Anyway. I've fab sealed up my brolly because last session in those conditions it was leaking uh, which made it a bit uncomfortable in the bivy so uh, yeah I've set it all up, dried it up, set it up and um, painted some fab sealed gold over it and uh, rubbed it down. Fingers crossed the leaks will uh, not happen. Uh, I've got a winter skin that I can put on the bivy which will pretty certain stop any links, le links stop any leaks but um, I just don't really want to bother getting the winter skin out. It's not cold enough really for it. So uh, unless it does start leaking again, I may sort of get that out of the bag and, and whack that over the top as well. But for now, I'm going with a single skin and uh, I'll see what it gives. Anyway, I'm having a cup of tea, enjoying that. And uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Watch guys, just getting on for three o'clock. Um, nothing to report, apart from those little knocks I had earlier, which I told you about, nothing since then. Um, I have recast the right end rod, I recast it about an hour ago, um, a little bit closer to the margin. Uh, and as yet, nothing on that at all. So, um, yeah, very quiet. Um, I have set up a couple of fresh rigs, uh, which I'll probably chuck out in the next um, hour or so. Um, yeah, I've got those out there well before six o'clock as it's starting to get dark soon. Um, yeah, nothing to report. Obviously, if something does happen, I'll let you know. Um, yeah, just a, a bit quiet. So the weather is pretty grim. Uh, the weather's coming from behind the bivy, um, which is nice. So it's not blowing in the bivy. I don't have to have the letterbox style door or anything like that. Um, I do prefer to have the door open. So, yeah. And the bivy, touch wood, seems to be staying waterproof um, after I've uh, proofed it. So let's hope that remains. But yeah, a lot more comfortable than last time. Um, when was it in catching in the door occasionally, the bivy was leaking. It was pretty uncomfortable even in the bivy. So uh, much more comfortable this weekend. Just a case of waiting for one of those alarms to, to go. Let's just hope one of them does. Anyway, I'll see you in a bit. Watch guys, it's just coming up to half past four and I've just recast both rods. They're out now for the night. 
or until something picks them up. So uh, not a lot else I can do now. Um, before I cast them out, I did go around and just sprinkle a little bit more uh, boilie crumb in each spot. So uh, we'll see what gives. Uh, but it's been quite quiet. The wind has been really strong at times. It's really powerful and it's made uh, my cast earlier quite difficult to get them exactly where I want. Uh, now I have uh, both casts. It took me a couple of goes on each rod to get it exactly where I wanted it. Um, so yeah, two casts on each rod to get it bang where I want with the wind going on like it has been. Uh, which is not ideal, but they're there and I'm happy with the spots they're in. So um, yeah, case of sitting and waiting again. So I'm uh, going to relax, have another cup of tea and uh, another bite to eat. I don't know what I'm going to have yet. Um, and yeah, just take it easy and uh, hope the carp gods are with me this session and uh, get one of those buzzers singing. Anyway, I'll catch you in a little while. Watch guys, just coming up to six o'clock and as you may be able to hear, it's absolutely pouring down. Nothing to report on the rods, all very quiet. Um, so let's just see what happens. But yeah, I've had some nice food, I've had a green curry and uh, now I'm just gonna sit here and listen to the rain at the bivy. But, um, and again, fingers crossed, touch wood, there's no uh, leakage in the bivy considering it's quite a heavy downpour so uh, hopefully I'm in for a dry night hopefully not too quiet I'd like to think I'd have something in the night um, but failing that hopefully tomorrow morning but um, anyway obviously I'll keep you posted and I'll catch you in a bit morning guys just getting on for quarter to seven and the clocks went back last night so uh, hence the reason it's so light um, so yeah so an extra hour on this fishing session which is always nice however nothing happened in the night not a bleep uh, well no so like I had a bleep on the left hand rod um, that's about it it's been pretty torrential downpours throughout the night it stopped a couple of times um, but yeah on and off very very heavy downpours uh, it's all very nice at the moment. The wind's died down overnight. Uh, but it looks like the wind's just starting to pick up again. A little bit of a chop on the water again, whereas 15 minutes ago it's flat calm like a mill pond. But um, anyway, forecast is for more rain today. Not as much, I don't think. Um, so, good conditions for fishing. Hopefully, we'll get some indication on the. Uh, indicators <laughs> soon so um, yeah let's see what happens and uh, fingers crossed we get one I really want to go away with just a fish um, and like I said earlier that's all I fish for normally fish at a time um, yeah so let's just see if we get a chance today um, anyway so I'm going to start waffling if I don't stop now, so I'm going to stop now and I'll catch you in a bit. Watch guys, it's about quarter past ten now. And as you can see, we've got a bit of sunshine. Uh, we've had some showers this morning. Well, showers and sunshine. Um, 
but yeah, sunny at the moment. Hopefully it lasts a bit longer. Try and dry everything out. Um, not a bleep on the rods. I need, these baits have been out since I cast them out yesterday evening, about four o'clock. Um, I've not touched them. They're still where I put them. A little while ago, I had a bleep on the right hand rod. Thought something might have happened, but no. But it is very, very quiet, and um, it's looking like I'm not going to catch anything in this session. Uh, that's the way it goes, that's fishing. But when you look back on the last session I've done, all the fish came in the daytime, so there's still a chance. But it's a slim chance, and uh, fingers crossed something does happen. But um, that's all I can do is hope and uh, sit and wait, and hopefully. We uh, have no more showers and keep the bivvy nice and dry. Anyway, I'll catch you in a little while. Okay guys, catch up time. Um, I've just had a recast about half hour ago on my right hand rod. It's just coming up to half past 12. And I thought, just in case there's something wrong with it, it's not landed right, or it's you know in some debris or whatever. So I've recast that. I'm sitting in the sunshine, Bivy was almost dry. And uh, I think, well, at least that's one good thing about the session, I'm gonna go home with a dry Bivy. And the next thing I know, the Evans opened an absolute torrential rain and uh, I'm back where I started this morning with a soaking wet bivy so that pretty much sums up the, the session oh well I've got a couple of hours left there's still a chance albeit a slim chance now time is running out um, but that's fishing you know real life comes into play and you've got to go home and uh, do all the other stuff you've got to do anyway there's still a chance it may happen but um, it's not looking very likely. And like I say, now I've got to go home and soak in wet bivy again. Hey ho. Anyway, catch you in a bit. <laughs> 